okay now we solve the practice set 9 so the first one is minus 96 divided by 16 a negative integer divided by a positive integer so minus 96 divided by 16 we can write it as minus 1 into 96 upon 16 which in turn minus 1 into what gives me 96 16 into 6 gives me 96 upon 60 now look at it carefully 16 divided by 16 okay 16 divided by 16 can be cancelled 16 ones are 16 ones are and I'm left with minus 1 into 6 that means minus 1 into 6 will give me minus 6 so a negative integer divided by a positive integer is giving me an answer in negative integer second one 98 divided by minus 28 positive integer divided by negative integer so 98 divided by tw minus 28 ok so in this form how do we write we split it up 1 into 7 into 14 simply 7 into 14 gives me 98 and 28 can be split into 2 into 14 14 twos are 28 ok and the minus sign with minus 1 then we separate that part that is minus 1 stands out minus 1 and look at it 14 and 14 will get cancelled 14 ones are 14 ones are so we are left with 7 upon 2 so minus 1 into 7 upon 2 will give me answer minus 7 upon 2 now this simply you can write it once you have understood as 98 divided by minus 28 I told you it's a rule that we cannot keep the denominator with the negative sign okay in the answer so beforehand you could just inverse that so minus 98 upon 28 and then 7 into 14 divided by 2 into 14 will give you the same answer 7 upon 2 now we go on for the third sum minus 51 divided by 68 minus 51 divided by 68 I'll show you another method how to find out the tables which number like 51 some of you might not understand which table so it's very simple you have already learnt HCF in your standard 6 so in your working column you could find out the common factors 51 we can divide by 3 so 3 1s are 3 2 is carried so it becomes 21 3 7s are 21 now 17 is a prime number so 17 1s are 17 that means 51 I can split into 3 into 17 now let's see 68 68 same pattern let's follow now it's a even number in the units place okay so it's divisible by 2 2 3s are 6 2 4s are 8 again 2 2 1s are 2 1 carried 2 7s are 14 now 17 as mentioned earlier prime number and as you know 17 1s are 70 so 68 can be split into now 2 2s are 4 we are not interested in prime factors here we are only interested in the multiples how we can divide them how we can make them easy to solve so 2 2s are 4 so 4 into 17 I take it ok even if you write 2 into 2 into 17 not a problem it's not wrong it's always right ok so 3 into 17 and 4 into 17 so minus 51 I can put that minus sign for minus 3 into 70 divided by 4 into 70 did you understand that children so minus 51 I have split into minus 3 into 70 because 3 17s are 51 and minus into plus will give me minus 68 I have split it into 4 into 70 ok now what will happen here 17 17 cancel 17 ones are 17 ones are what are we left with minus 3 upon 4 so it's a negative integer divided by a positive integer is giving you a negative fraction
as mentioned earlier in the first point when a positive when any integer is divided by another integer and it is not exactly divisible then it gives you a fraction so this is a fraction and the second thing about the signs which they are telling when negative integer divided by a positive integer is giving me answer as negative quotient or negative answer hope it's understood very clearly and i'll limit myself till here so that you understand the concept and then we proceed further maybe during the day i put up the other sums or we continue with the next whenever we meet so any doubts please write in the comment box or try to approach me through the google classroom you can write in the feedback whatever is your positive negative feedback no problem at all i will try to solve it in a more better way if you haven't understood yet thank you children have a nice day